Hello folks. So, okay. Who should be the leader of the church? Right now, the church thinks the pastor should be the leader of basically every church. Is that right? Hmm. Well, I said before, the pastor is the lowest, the lowest ones in the ministry for the church. Because, as I said before, the, what do you call, maybe you say the teacher or the um, minister person will listen to God. The, the pastor listens to the people rather than God. So therefore, okay, how can the pastor be the leader or the head person in the church? No chance at all. And that's the point. The leader is called the head person right, in the church. Well, excuse me. I thought the Son of God, the Son of God, is supposed to be the head of the church. So, okay, well, there's a question. If he's supposed to be the head of the church, how can the head of churches be pastors? Because they are saying they are the son of God. They are saying they are the Lord of all the lords. Because he's supposed to be the head of the church. So therefore, we're supposed to be the body. He's supposed to be the head. So therefore, who is the head of the church? Well, if you go to any church, if you say, who's the head of this church? They will point to the pastor. If you ask him again to say it's supposed to be the Lord, say, oh, yeah, 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 of course it's the Lord. Sorry. But until you say that, they will point to the, far, to, to the pastor. Because they really think the pastor is in charge of the church. Well, the point of it is the pastor is in charge of the church right now. Well... So, that's completely wrong. It was never supposed to be the pastor. Never supposed to be the pastor. And again, that's completely the way it should be right now. Because, yeah, they're of the world. So therefore, if they're of the world, not of God, then obviously, the people who supposed to who are supposed to be in the bottom are now on the top. Yeah? As I said, basically, God's way is the opposite of the world's way. So therefore, what should be on the top is in the bottom, and what should be in the bottom is on the top. said before words matter what do I mean by words matter well when people take the position of leader of a church there's meaning that comes with, with that word and because they've taken the wrong word they take the meaning as well so therefore the word leader means that you choose what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. 
know what to say yeah etc 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 because you are the leader you listen to people yes but you decide right yeah when you understand that God is the leader and that we are to be led then all things you understand you understand that he is the one who decides what should happen how it happens when it happens what to do what to say etc 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 it's up to him to decide and so therefore it changes everything and then you choose the right person to be the person who is actually yeah who's listening to God and being led and letting God speak through them to help you because again if it's a leader right now in this world a leader will look at the fact that we have this council culture and council culture is directed very very much at offense and so therefore we can't do anything or say anything that could be taken as offensive so therefore in their decision making one of the first things is up there right now is safe space council culture that sort of stuff that sort of stuff and that's the way church wants it so he's got to provide that for these people otherwise they won't want him there any longer right so therefore that's going to be very much in his thinking whereas if it's God leading it's simply okay father what do you want me to do right when do you want me to do it okay how do you want me to do it? Okay. Now, in some of those things, he may very well say, you decide. But that's him giving you that chance to decide. You don't take it from him. He gives you that. And if he gives you that, then it's not your, it's his. In this time, he's given you the chance to decide. Yeah, you can make a mistake, doesn't matter. He doesn't mind you making mistakes because he can teach you and you can learn. That's why he will give you chances to decide because it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You're gonna make many and if you have that understanding, that you're going to make many and that God's going to teach you, great. Making mistakes is an opportunity to learn. Whereas again, if you see it from the point of view of the world, making mistakes is you being a failure. Completely different understanding. In so much of the world, people have heard that. When they make mistakes all the time, it means they're a mess up, they're a failure. They're a nothing, they're a worthless. Whereas with God, failures, mistakes are an opportunity to learn, to grow, to develop. And because he's teaching you, then your relationship with him is getting better, 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 better. So therefore... When you, when you make mistakes, you go to him more than when you get things right. So, yeah. Mistakes are good. Because it's like, okay, if you have a father who knows everything, absolutely everything, and he's brilliant at everything, and your car is knackered, and he's telling, to you, telling you to decide what you want to do and then do it, when you, when you make a mistake, you go to him. 
Because you're going to him, it means you're spending time with him, whereas you wouldn't necessarily do that. If you're deciding what to do, so if you're deciding just to take it to a garage and get them to fix it, that means there's time you're spending with your father that you wouldn't now be doing. Right? So giving your heavenly father all of that, he's the one leading, he's the one in charge. When you understand that he is the one in charge, you're saying, okay. Well, with that being the case, you know, I need you to tell me what to do and when to do it as much as possible and when I make a mistake to teach me. And that is already understood, that that will be the case. So there you go. I will leave you to it. And choose the right leader for yourself. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Be a blessing. Be blessed. And yeah, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.